Hi, I am your host Cynthia Chico and you are watching Being Fit for Life. We are here for, with Deborah from Prenatal Plus Yoga and Deborah is going to take us through a 10 minute session of yoga with breathing, stretching, relaxation. Join us please. Thank you Cynthia. Okay ladies, why don't we start with a nice elongated spine sitting up nice and tall. Let's just close the eyes for a moment and do some nice slow breathing. So let's start with a breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. And as we inhale, let's fill the belly. Give your baby lots of fresh breath. Bring that breath all the way up to the top of the head, nice and slow. And as you exhale through the mouth, just release it and let go of anything you don't need, anything you don't want. So let's take a few nice slow breaths here. Ready? Take it in. And exhale, let it out. Just relaxing all the muscles of the face, relaxing the neck and the shoulders, feeling your breath nice and soft and smooth. Continue breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. Taking a few moments to quiet the mind, center the body from the day. Breathing in love, breathing in light. Relax, release, and let go. Taking time during the day to connect with your baby, to connect with your breath. Two more breath cycles here. Good. Holding on to your knees, gently open your eyes. Inhale, open your chest and look up. Open your heart. And as you exhale, just gently round your spine and drop your chin. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. Stretching the back, stretching the upper back. Again, inhale, open. Coming back to a nice tall space in the center, keep the right hand on the knee and take your left arm and just take it behind you. Breathe up and gently gaze over your left shoulder. It's a gentle twist, it's great for digestion. Take a breath here. Relax into those sit bones. Good. And releasing. Left hand on the left knee, right hand comes behind you, breathe up gently gaze over your right shoulder. Relax for a nice deep breath. Good. Stretching that lower back and release. Excellent. From here we're going to come up to all fours. We'll take our pillows and just move our pillows off to the side. Coming up to all fours here, opening the knees. We're going to spread our fingers and from here, we're going to make a nice circle all the way around. So let's loosen up the hips. Give that baby a nice ride. This is what we call the hammock position. This is a great pose for early labor. It gives your baby the space to rotate and helps your back. Good. And let's go in the other direction. Nice, big circles. If you need something under the knees at home, you can use a blanket. Excellent. From here, touch your toes behind you. Open your knees wide. And we're going to cross our arms in front and just let the forehead rest down and take three nice breaths. Relax. This is called child's pose for pregnancy. It helps the back stretch. It helps mamas relax. The shoulders are open, no tension. Breathing to baby. And we come up nice and slow. Bring the knees together and come up here. Good. From here, let's take our left foot forward and tuck our right toes behind us. Open up the chest, both hands on top of your thigh. Ready? One, two, three, and up. Good job. Okay, excellent. Let's turn forward. 
we'll move this out of the way and we're going to do some squats so now we're going to get into some nice movement we're going to open up the hips we're going to open up the chest and heart and we're going to come down and down and up and down and up squats are good for the thighs we want strong legs to birth our babies we want to keep the body nice and fit and strong good and let's do 10 more and 10 and up and nine keep breathing and seven and up and six and up good five more so i always suggest 15 in the morning when you brush your teeth and 15 at night this way you do your squats every day all right here we go three more three two and one good let's stretch out the upper back a little bit so come down to a half a squat thumbs forward fingers back Taking a nice deep breath here. Exhale, turn your right shoulder toward your left knee. Look over your left shoulder. Feel that nice stretch. Bend both your knees. Bend both your knees. This is going to give you a nice stretch. Come back up to center. Inhale. Exhale, left shoulder down. Looking over your right. Feel that upper back stretch. No pulling, no forcing. And inhale up. Exhale, right shoulder down once again. Feel that stretch. This is great for tension in the upper back. One more time up. And exhale, left shoulder down, looking over the right. Good job. And come up. Good. Now, for lower extremity circulation, we'll keep the right foot forward and we'll turn the left foot forward this way. Good. Take your hands on your hips. Let's square the hips to the front. All right, from here, inhale your right, your left arm halfway. And exhale, bending into what we call warrior two pose. We want to open up the shoulders, stretch both your arms out now. Feel this nice extension. Good, breathe deep to your baby. You want to make sure the knee is right on top of the ankle and the chest is nice and open. Good, and then we're going to release down to the thigh. Reaching straight up with your right arm. Feel a nice extension here. And take a deep breath. Every breath counts. Gently stretch over your head, feeling a little more of an extension through the right side of the body. Excellent. And slowly bring yourself up to center. Feet forward. Come in just a step. Interlace your fingers behind you. Inhale. Let's open the heart. Look up. And exhale just halfway. Lengthen through the neck, lengthen through the top of the head. Take a deep breath to your baby. Once again, getting baby off the back. And slowly come up. Good. Release. From here, just turn your right foot forward. And hands on the hips. Let's square to the center. Take a deep breath in. Right arm comes up. Exhale, bending into your warrior pose. Make sure the knee is right on top of that ankle. Both arms stretch out. Feel your back arm lengthening. Take this beautiful breath. Another pose you can do here, or another exercise you can do here, which is very important, is your Kegel muscle. Kegels are very important. This strengthens the pelvic floor. So do Kegel exercises every day. Come down to your thigh. Reach up with your left arm, looking up, gazing up. Take a deep breath. Feel that nice stretch. Relax. And over the head for a little more than extension here. Breathe. Good. And coming back up, taking both feet forward, heel toe together. Excellent. Okay. If you want any information on our show, please visit our website. And like Deborah says, breath. relax, release, and let go. Thank you for watching.